about the tour is made by David Weekly, and it is a beautiful home. I can't wait to show it to you. We are in the bridges of Nexton, specifically in Midtown, which is in Somerville, South Carolina. And I just, oh, I love this community. You're only 30 minutes away from downtown Charleston, but you really don't have to leave. There's a huge community here with parks and trails, plenty of shopping, workplaces, schools, restaurants, uh, you name it. You really don't have to leave the Nexton area. And you're gonna make so many relationships with other families here as well. This house is $523,990 and just above 2,600 square feet. So now let's just get on with our tour. Upon arrival, you have this wonderful front porch where you and your family can enjoy the summers, the fall and the spring because the weather is so temperate here. You know, even the winter because right now it is December the 8th and it is it is like 70 some degrees. So you can use a front porch all year round, which is why you will see front porches very commonly put on the front of homes here in Charleston, South Carolina. So really, you are getting the whole low country package when you are getting this home from David Weekly. Let's move into inside. As we enter this home, I just immediately see how open it is. And the other thing I notice is all the natural light. David Weekly loves to put windows in their home, not just because they think it's modern, but because they believe that a bright home is a happy home. And I couldn't agree any more than that. I want to also bring you this way into the study. I feel that it is a must to have a study or an office in your home, especially after COVID and how many jobs went remote. It is just so nice to have a space in your house where you feel energized to get work done and it keeps you separated from the personal part of your life. Also to mention these windows again, the natural light that's coming in also makes me feel awake and alert and not that I'm cooped up in a small dark room. I personally would love an office like this in my home. And even better yet, there is a bathroom right beside this office space. Very convenient. Once you've got your mind energized and what you're doing, you wanna be able to just go take care of things and come right back to what you were doing. So let's take a look at that next. So before we head into the living room, dining room, and the kitchen, we'll see that in just a moment, I just wanted to point out that as you come through this entryway and head to your right, that is where your two car garage is, so you can enter in that way, or through, of course, that entryway we just came through. And then how nice is this drop zone area with hooks and places to hang your bags and your coats and backpacks and just everything that's a part of your daily routine all in one place instead of on your kitchen table. And then on this side, there is a very large storage closet and it goes the whole way back into the stairs here, which you'll see in just a moment. But this is so nice, so convenient right here by the doors at the bottom of the steps, not at the top of the steps on your second floor, but a storage closet right here where really you do most of your living. So now let's go ahead and continue walking through the home where you can see the kitchen, living room, and the dining space. Ugh, you're gonna be so excited. Leading you into the family room first there are so many details that I need to share with you. One, again, windows. Look at how large these windows are. If I stood in this ledge, I, I'm pretty sure that window is still taller than me. And I'm like, five, four, <laughs> what a good day. But also, this room has so many things to look at. One, recessed lighting, more lighting to a space, big, spacious, and uh, even the high ceilings. It's just wonderful. There's even built-in speakers for your TV experience. That is awesome. And then let's take a look at this accented wall for the TV. Just so pretty. It really brings your eyes and attention to this space. While although it's open concept to everything, it makes it different than the other side of the house where the dining room is. And it makes it look special and unique. And I just, I'm just loving these details. Really makes it cool. 
Oh, and not to forget mentioning, it is large for hosting. For your family, friends, neighbors, this couch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven people just here. And not to forget the entryway on the porch had seating out front. People can mingle out there, but we also have, and I'll show you in just a moment, a whole bar on the other side of this island, and then the dining table, big enough for a family as well. And then even the back porch yet, oh, I can't wait to get to the back porch. It is, it is a dream with a water feature. So let's just keep on moving. I want to bring your attention to how bright and airy and white this kitchen is. It just adds to all this natural light that's coming in and makes this space feel so big and grand, which it is. <laughs> and I just also want to point out how pretty this backsplash is. It is hard to miss. It is such, again, a unique detail to this really amazing home. Just like how you have the feature over there with the TV. Here in the kitchen, you have another statement that makes your home different than everybody else's. And then even the space, holy cow, look at all the cabinet space. You have room for anything that you wanna cook or bake with. And if you were like me growing up, we did a lot of baking and we had a thing for a thing for a thing. <laughs> and in this case, you won't have any kind of problem finding storage for your kitchen supplies. And then the island speaks for itself. It is huge. I'm just standing here. Here's my sink. I have my guests, my family here, plenty of room for food and to serve on the other side. Just wonderful. And then I'm gonna pull you a little bit closer to this extra coffee bar and extra counter space. You could really do anything you wanted here. I'm seeing a display of wine, so this could be for your actual bar bar. But then back here, and I'll bring you a little closer, this is a coffee bar station or whatever you want directly across from a pantry. Mm, who doesn't love a pantry? Back here on the side of the kitchen, which is still open to everything else, it is like its own whole little room. Instead of a closed off portion to like, this could be a part of the pantry with all of this space, they kept it open, which again, adds to the feel of just this really large square footage in the home. And here again, here's your coffee or whatever you'd like it to be. And I'm gonna swing you around here, so follow me. And I'm gonna show you the pantry space, which already has built-in storage. I'm gonna stand in here to give you guys an idea of size of this pantry. One, I would need a step ladder. Again, five, four on a good day. <laughs> but you can put stuff all the way up here. And there's one, two, three, four, five, including the floor, six, shelves that you could put things and it's a wrap around the whole way around and what's nice about it not being too deep is that everything is within arm's reach even if you're five four on a good day i'd like to now take you over to the dining room so here is the dining space big enough for a family or for a party and just look at how, again, it's so seamless and open concept to everything else. I could be standing here and mingling with the host or hostess, making the food or prepping the food, putting it out, people sitting here, people getting their drinks there at that drink station, getting their coffee over here, watching a game on TV, hanging out there, or even, my goodness, we're gonna go out here soon, all these windows, access to a view right on the back porch where all of your family and guests are out here enjoying themselves. And there's even a table out there yet, but I won't go too quickly to the back porch. I wanna be in this space with you for just one moment more. I wanna give you an idea of where this is in this home. So when you enter that entryway from the front, the dining area is on your right in the back of the home. And then your living space is on the left side. Your kitchen is centralized all along the back wall that shares the wall with the garage. And don't forget that pantry space over here. I am just loving the layout that David Weekly decided and made and constructed this home to be. So cool. And what's neat is they have homes already ready to go, but also already building, or you can just start with just the land and build what you want. 
Before we head outside to that back porch, I first wanted to just stop and take in this view from the dining area and just show you what I meant. When I was standing there, being able to be right here, and the camera right now is right where the dining table starts and then to the wall. But here you can easily talk to people and get up and get the things that you need and then also continue to watch something on the TV. But even just the beauty of this home from every angle, the stairs, love the details of the wood with the white. Very clean, very modern, just very, very charming. And also there is a map here of Next in Midtown. And I just kind of wanted to give you an idea of just how big this developing area is. It is growing people. There's so many plots of land. There's even ones that are near water like this one that you can have that in your backyard. All of these properties have fencing that makes it private in the backyard, but it's really cool when you are backed up against the water. I can't wait to show you that in just a moment. And then even to zoom out a little bit more, this is a large map of the whole next and developing area, not just here in Midtown, but all of the different areas that they're building. Just wild when I was saying earlier that you really don't have to leave Nexton for any of your living needs unless you want to go downtown. Of course, Charleston has that draw. Go downtown, enjoy your night out, but you can also even do that here in Somerville in Nexton. It's just awesome. So, so great. The possibilities are endless. Y'all, this view. Can we talk about everything? <laughs> First, the stone, the stone porch. It is beautiful. I absolutely love this. Instead of just doing concrete the whole way from the house out towards this fire pit. And my gosh, a fire pit like this. <laughs> Not only, again, could people sit here and enjoy the space being surrounded by everyone they know and care about. But also you can make memories with this fire, making those s'mores or those hot dogs. And even sit here, you can go from here and then sit here to enjoy your desserts or your dinner. And I mean, that is just so nice. And I'll show you in a second, there's seating right outside the back door where there's four more, so we have two, four, six, 10, 13, and then who knows how many people can fit here. This is a backyard space for hosting. It is space for your family, for you to walk your dog. <laughs> but this view is so nice and it's so wonderful to have access, access to so much just on one property. I wanted to show you another angle of this house. Truly every, every angle is beautiful here and the yard is so large. I wanted to walk around just a little bit so that you could see how big it is for the yard games that you can play. Also the playing of your kids if you have children or you, <laughs> if you're out here playing. I know I like to throw a ball or a frisbee and that's exactly what I would be doing in this space. And then also I wanted you to notice the back of the home and all those windows again. In fact, those windows up there is to the master bedroom and we'll be up there in just a second. And you get to overlook this whole beautiful view you just saw a second ago. So we're gonna go ahead and head back in and I'm gonna take you upstairs. Immediately after you come up the stairs on your right, you're going to see this retreat, another lounge area, a family space, a playroom. Right now it's being used as another lounge space where you have a TV and seating. And how nice is it that it's connected to all of these bedrooms? You don't have to go downstairs if you don't want to. You could stay here in this cozy space, but with lots of room. This is a whole recliner two recliners and a couch. So you have three to four people here and two people here, people who sit on this. This is again, another space to do your living. And there's even room here for so much storage. I'm gonna turn us around here in a second, so follow me. There is a bedroom also immediately right behind this wall. And there's another bedroom over here. Normally there is a bedroom 
there as well. It is turned into the presentation room at the moment, but I will be able to get to show you the master bedroom last with its ensuite. So stick around to see that, you don't wanna miss it. And then this here is just one of the two additional bedrooms that could be used for kids or for guests or whatever you wanna use it for. So follow me. As you enter this room, you immediately are greeted by the queen size bed. And over here in this corner, there is a floating desk. That is so convenient. I love that it doesn't use a whole lot of space. And at the same time, it serves its purpose exactly for who would stay in here would be needing it for. And the window in a space like this brings in so much natural daylight. The accent wall here, I think it might be real brick. It, it's real brick. Oh, it's so cool. That looks so great there. And then on this side, this way the room has been made and it pockets out this way. And I'll turn it around so you can see it. It adds space to this closet and it looks really big. So let's take a look. Oh my goodness, y'all. For the size this room is, it's not the master for a kid or for a guest, whomever. This closet, I wish I had a walk-in closet like this. Yes, you walk in just a bit, but there is so much room. You can hang up things all around, and then down here there's space for you to put whatever kind of storage you would like. And then up here, there's shelving so that you can add things above. There's even room with these high ceilings that you can add another shelf if need be. So great, so great. My closet growing up, I opened it and I stood there and I just had, I just had one rail, <laughs> which was fine, which was fine. But I didn't know that these were options. These were options. When you reach out to David Weekly and you talk about what you want in a home, tell them all the things that you're looking for. And with all of the houses that they have and all over next in, and even they're across the country, you will be able to find something that fits pretty much everything you're looking for. Now it's time for the master bedroom. Let's go. Before actually, sorry, we go to the master bedroom. Didn't mean to psych y'all out there. I wanted to just bring your attention to this huge room for utility, but I mean like laundry. Up here on the second floor, no need to go up and down the stairs with all of your clothes. And all the bedrooms are right here. And all the noise, like everything is up here. For your pet's food, if you have pets, or for cat litter boxes, I'm a cat mom. <laughs> want a dog, want a dog someday. Um, but there's also cabinets and shelving. And then on this side, you have a bathroom in between these two bedrooms. So again, this room is being used for a presentation room right now, which at the end of this video is called Behind the Walls. And Lori, sweet Lori, takes her time. I put her on the spot and asked her if I could record her talking about how they build these homes and what makes them special and why she loves David Weekly. And then back to this, this is a bathroom that's shared and very close between these two bedrooms and directly across from the laundry room. It is a full bath with a bathtub shower combo. High ceilings, lots of light. It's nice when you have guests or for your kids, they don't have to go far to do their normal routine. I am blown away. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Try not to look before I record it so that you are getting my natural reaction. And I can just tell, like, I'm just smiling and smiling and smiling. I'm getting more and more excited as I'm going through this David Weekly home. Anywho, I'm not gonna look that way either because it is a huge master bedroom walk-in closet. And um, we'll get there in a second. But first, my gosh. The windows, when we were outside and I pointed to these windows about the view, uh, follow me, I'm gonna show you this view. Oh, 
Imagine waking up in this king size bed and seeing these views. The natural daylight, just stunning. So pretty. I love that the master is on the second floor and if you like masters on the second floor, then this will not disappoint. I'm even just amazed at how tall the ceilings, again, it just, this room feels large, the house feels large. I feel like there's so many places to live life in this home. Even in this room, you have another lounge area that's private for you or for a significant other. On the ottoman, they have a coffee machine. Well, like, I'm not bougie with my coffee. You let me know in the comments below what this is called, but you can make coffee by pouring hot water over the filter and, and making it making it that way without all the plugins and technology. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comments. I, I'm letting some of my friends know <laughs> who really love their coffee and they've definitely told me about this. But this is really, really cool. This room doesn't feel tight at all. And because it's in the back corner and away from the other side of the bedrooms, it really feels like your own retreat. I'm gonna show you the bathroom next, as well as this lounge area, and then the master. And I'm not even sure which is my favorite. The bathroom looks elegant. Everything about this house looks elegant. Day Weekly, you did an amazing job. Again, no disappointments here. You have plenty of space in this walk-in closet in your master bedroom. There is a whole shelf to hang and put storage on top of here, the whole back wall, two shelvings, your room for the top, room for more on the bottom, and it goes the whole way around to even where I'm out of picture, <laughs> but over here, every side, every side of this room is used. I am amazed at how much room they were able to give the walk-in closet and still give also so much space to the bedroom. I'm gonna turn us around here and I wanna show you a look at the bed again with the lounge area and then we'll hit that elegant bathroom. I want us to stop and look at this lounge area and see just how big these chairs are and how much room you have at the end of your bed. Either if it's for a lounge area or if you wanna put a shoe trunk here or a trunk for blankets, you definitely have the space to do it. You can walk from point A to point B, meaning the walk-in closet to the bathroom to the entrance of your door without really feeling like, without feeling at all that you have to step around anything. Even though that this ottoman's even here, I mean, that's even going out further. This is so seamless, it's smooth, nothing feels tight. You feel like you have space to breathe and relax in this bedroom. And I also want to point out the ceiling. This is called tray ceiling where it vaults in and it goes higher and they accented it with a color. You could do white or you could choose any color you want, but it's a really nice touch here on the master bedroom. So last but definitely not least, I'm gonna show you the master bathroom. It is a sight to see. And then also make sure that you hang into the end to meet Lori, our wonderful hostess who invited me here today. And she goes through how David Weekly makes their homes, what they promise and give to their customers and why she loves David Weekly herself. She says she's been working for 12 years. And y'all, I'm envisioning myself in this space. Uh, let me know if you can too, what you love so far, what you would do if you're customizing your own home with David Weekly, what things did you like, what other options have you considered? And I would just love to hear what you're thinking because it really helps me when it comes to helping clients or you if you'd ever want to become my client. I just, I love these kind of conversations. Any whom, I am gonna turn us around, so follow me into this bathroom. Didn't I tell you it's just amazing? Ugh, I am sold. I, I, I wish I could buy two houses right now. I, the one that I'm paying a mortgage on, but also like this one. <laughs> Get it before me, y'all. But uh, let's take a look here. You've got a Jack and Jill sink. How convenient. You can have your own side or both if you want them both for yourself. And there's storage here in the cabinets, the bathroom where the toilet is, is right here in its own little room with its own door so it's private. 
which I really like. I really like that. And then on this side, you have this just, just walk in shower. I'm just so excited. I'm like losing my words here. I just love this. And I've never had this for myself, but it's going on my wish list. If y'all can't tell, I'm adding to my wish list right now. But again, walk in, literally walk in. Glass, open, window, storage closet for your linens. The actual shower turn on is right here. And you can walk in this deep and look at this pattern on the tile. It even has a tactile ribbing like feel to it. All tile, how pretty. I can't say enough. This is so nice. I love all the white. Again, the house, the aesthetic throughout is bright and light. All customizable, of course, if you would like to have a new construction. But this low country, beautiful, charming home style that you're gonna get here with David Weekly and Nexton, it's 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 hard to beat. This is this is absolutely stunning. And the high ceilings, again, throughout the whole house. It just makes you feel like you're, I, I, feel, I feel like I'm a princess. <laughs> Hello, welcome to David Weekly Homes in Nexton. I'm Lori Schultz and I've been with David Weekly about 12 and a half years now in different neighborhoods and I'm really excited to be in Nexton now. Um, I wanted to introduce you to how David Weekly builds. This is the thing that makes us more, really it just a, it differentiates us as a builder. Uh, first off, we do two by six exterior walls for our um, village homes. We also, as compared to two by four exterior walls. Now, what makes that better? Well, we're able to give you a lot more insulation. In a two by four space, you can get an R13. In a two by six space, you can get an R19. And you want your R values to be as high as possible. We also use a more expensive house wrap. This is Dow Weathermate Plus, and if you ever notice blue house wrap, you'll know that's Dow Weathermate Plus. It's made out of styrofoam, and there's tiny little pinholes throughout, and it allows any moisture that's in your home to escape, but it does not allow our humidity to go back into your home. So that's one of the reasons it costs a little bit more. Also, the thickness with it being styrofoam, now you have another R value of two. So you've got an R21 in your walls versus an R13. So that's a big deal. We're also Environments for Living certified. Uh, there's, you've probably heard of Energy Star Homes. Energy Star Homes, I would say, is about here. Environments for Living is up here. So you have to jump through some hoops to earn that certification. Uh, there's probably around five or seven tests that you go through. We, uh, I'll tell you, I'll just tell you about two of them. One of them is a blower door test, and that's really cool. This third party, they come out, they close all the doors and windows in your home. Then they open the front door and they have, a, it's like a vinyl or leather that they seal your whole front door with. Built into the bottom is a fan, and they turn the fan on. Well, that pressurizes your home. Attached to it is a meter. The meter tells how much air is leaking back into your home as a percentage. So you could do this test to any home. Say you did it to an older home, it might say 25, 35% air leakage. Do it to a younger home, maybe 15 to 20. Do it to a brand new home, 6% air leakage. In order for us to earn the EFL certificate, our test has to say 3% or less. So we are literally twice as tight as a brand new home. Then we do the same test in your duct system. That's extremely important too, because it's not like you're hanging out in your attic, you know, where you might see a leak. You're not gonna see a leak. Now the electric company will love you, but you could be heating and cooling your attic and have no idea. So we're gonna test all your duct work and it also has to come back at 3% or less air leakage. If for any reason the test does not come back at 3% or less, we have to bring our insulation guys back and they have to figure out where the leak is. Then we have to pay the other testing company to come back and test again because David Weekly will not allow us to sell a home unless it is Environments for Living certified, EFL certified at the platinum level. So to me, that says a lot about the company and the integrity of the company. I was talking to a, another builder just, just to see what they were doing and they were actually doing the testing too. But when I found out they were only testing one out of 10 homes, I was like, wow, that's, I mean, I understand, but are you telling your people that? So that's a question you wanna ask because if I had not asked the question, cause I did ask, are you testing? 
with the EFL and they said yes, but when I asked how many homes are you testing, they said one out of 10. So just the questions that you think maybe I shouldn't ask, you should ask them. You may be wondering, well, if your homes are built so tight, how is that good? Because you know, you would be right. We do have a very tightly built home because we don't have any more air leakage. It has to be 3% or less. And so that would make a tight home. Well, we do have a fresh air ventilation system and that replaces the air in your home, you know, once every 24 to 48 hours. So you will have fresh air, but the air is brought in on purpose and then it's conditioned because there's a filter. And as the air comes in, it gets cleaned and then it gets sent up through the system and it's called conditioned. And that's where it's heated or cooled and then it's reintroduced into your home. So it's, it's because it's conditioned, your, your heating and air conditioning, they're not working again to reheat something that's just, you know, come into your home because it's leaked in. It's brought in on purpose. And that's how we keep our homes um, healthy, a, a very healthy air quality, not only an energy efficient home, but a very healthy air quality as well. And I would love for you to come see next end, see our behind the walls room. We have other things here that you could see uh, from you know, how our homes are healthy and you know, formaldehyde free insulation to our warranty. And then comparing if you were to you know, consider a, a 10 year old home, um, you know, if you had to replace a hot water heater, you're looking at $2,000, where with a new home, it's under warranty. So maybe you could go buy some wonderful handbags, but just some really cool things that are actually, you know, really on target. Although these prices are pre COVID, so Lord knows what they are now, but that'll kind of give you an idea of how, you know, more fun you could have with your money. And then if you're comparing it to a used home that's really, you know, maybe 30, 40, 50 years old, about how much, again, this is pre-COVID numbers, what it would cost you to bring that home up to today's standards. And then our warranty information, I'd love to show you more information about that. So just come by, see me, Lori Schultz with David Weekly Homes. Thank you so much, Lori. This Behind the Walls tour was amazing and so jam-packed with information. Definitely reach out to Lori. Reach out to me and I'll get you connected with Lori. We'll work together. I'm excited for that, Lori. I am too. And I want to ask you, why do you love David Weekly? I love David Weekly for a few reasons. Uh, first of all, for our clients and our customers. Y'all, if there's a problem with our home and, and we did it, we did not, first of all, we did not do it on purpose, but we will take care of it. I can sleep at night knowing if my customer calls me and there's something wrong with the home, we are gonna stand behind it. I, I cannot work for a company that I have to wear dark shades and drive like this because I'm afraid I might see you and something else is broken. I know David Weekly, if there is something wrong, we are gonna take care of it. Um, and I also love the fact that, you know, once you move in, if you would like to have your home dedicated, we even have a chaplain on staff. We actually have two chaplains on staff that will come out and do a home dedication for you. And I don't know any builder that offers that. So I think that's another plus. And we are the largest privately owned builder in the country. And it's because we're privately owned that we can do all these extra things. So, and we do have several customers who are repeat buyers. And I think if we didn't run our company like we do, if we didn't build like we do and stand behind our homes like we do, why would somebody come out, come back and buy from us again? So I would love for you to come out. Let me give you a tour and answer any questions. Oh, awesome, thank you, Lori. That is it for our tour. All I have yet to say is, wow, what an incredible day and a beautiful home. A big thanks to David Weekly Homes, as well as Lori Schultz for making this all possible. I am honored with this opportunity. I'm so glad we did this together and thank you so much for lasting to the end. Give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll turn key with you again real soon.